guys and welcome back to a new video. Thank you so much for being here as always. And today's video was very exciting because I'm gonna explain the whole cabin build that we're doing. And I'm gonna show you what our cabin looks like right now and then the floor plan of what we're building and also how far we've gotten so far. So I think we're just gonna go straight into the video. And this little formal setting and I got my makeup done and everything because I had a meeting this morning. So I just thought, you know what? Let's sit like this, it's quite nice, you know? I don't really have anywhere to sit in this house yet, but soon I'm gonna have an office. But all right, so first, some information. So I'm Cecilia, I think most of you know that by now, but if you're new here, my name's Cecilia and I live on Svalbard, which is an island close to the North Pole. So we are high up in the Arctic. And my boyfriend and I, we bought this cabin one and a half years ago now and it was quite expensive to be honest because we don't have any running water we do have ele electricity but no running water so we go and take a shower in the village and we have some other systems to be able to have water at home to do dishes and stuff like that but yeah so we bought it for 2.4 million norwegian kroners which is right now at the conversion rate 277,000 american dollars if you're american so quite expensive considering that there is no running water, but when you see what the view we have behind us, it kind of makes more sense. <laughs> I'll put in a footage so you can see. But so we lived in it for about a year when we felt like, okay, it's an amazing cabin, but it is a bit small. We felt like, okay, we need to expand and we should build an extension as soon as possible because it takes some time up here. So all of the houses up here are built on poles because the ground is permanently frozen. So for the houses to be stable enough, you put them on poles and then you put the foundation on that pole, on those poles. And those poles are pulled into the ground about, I think, somewhere five to seven meters. Ours are at five meters because at three meters they hit rock and then they pulled down two meters into the rock. So it's gonna be as steady as possible. This requires quite a lot of planning, of course, because you cannot do the pulling when there's no snow on the ground because the machines that need to go down to the cabin will ruin the tundra. So we don't, like we have so many aspects to think of when we build a cabin up here. We have to think about the environment and also about the weather and of course getting everything approved and making the house also safe for the weather and you know, trying to build it smartly. So what we did was, we had a good idea of what we wanted, but we didn't really know how to do proper drawings. So we hired an architect because we had an architect up here. And we also hired them to do the whole building permission. So we hired them to do the entire application because I could have done it, but it would have been quite difficult and take a lot of time and we wouldn't have <laughs> probably done it properly, you know? So we hired them to do the entire drawing up of the cabin and also the entire application process. When we were doing the drawings of the cabin first, we, I think, put too much like into their hands because we just kind of thought, yeah, they're architects, they're gonna, you know, know what we want when we have after our meetings and everything. But what they drew up was nothing what we wanted. It wasn't that it was bad, it's just that I think they had no idea really what we wanted. But yeah, so you can hear I wasn't very happy with that, but that's okay. So what we did, my boyfriend and I, we sat down and we just drew like over and over again. We just drew up what we thought we wanted. And after like, I don't know, a few days, we were like, oh my God, we should do this. Like, this is what we should do. We should move the kitchen. Cause you know, you kind of get stuck in that way of thinking like, no, the kitchen can be here and we can do that. You need to kind of like erase all of your like before thoughts and just go, okay, what can you do? What can this house become? So we drew up a house that we wanted and we gave it to them and we just said, could you please make this into proper drawings? Like, and they did. And also we live on Svalbard, so there are many rules and we can only build a certain size. There's a maximum on how much square footage we can have. And that is 135 square meters. So this house can not be bigger. Right now we have 57, which is in here. So we couldn't build like as big as we wanted. 
Also, the deck outside is considered living space because it is higher than a certain amount off the ground. I think it's higher than, if it's higher than half a meter, it's gonna go towards the allowance of the square footage, which is crazy. But I mean, it's the rules, so we can't do anything about it. So what we, we are doing is we are building 61 square meters. And we're also gonna take down a little bit of the deck on this side because we feel like we need it as indoor space instead of a big deck around the house, which is sad, but we're gonna keep as much as we can of this right out of here because it's amazing and has the view. But yeah, so there are a lot of different kind of challenges and things to think about when you live on an island with polar bears and, you know, permafrost and the craziest storms and everything. But I'm gonna show you today the drawings and what it's gonna look like and how far we've come. So after we got the architect, we approached a building company or the two different building companies companies up here uh, to get some budget on what it would cost to do the polling and also do the construction. So you can either get a company to do just the poles on the ground and then you get another company to do the construction or you can get one for both. I kind of knew which company I wanted up here just based on rumor and kind of what they were building and different builds they had done. They had done some cabins and you know, they seemed to be very good. Uh, so we got a very good offer from them. They were great and just, you know, we had a meeting and I said, this is how much money we have. We need to be able to build it for this. And they were like, yeah, we can do that. I'm like, okay, <laughs> thank God I lowballed it. <laughs> so yes, we are building the extension. It's gonna cost us, like only the construction company, what they're gonna take from us is, I'd say around 1.5 million Norwegian kroner, uh, yeah. And then you never know, we have a extra kind of, if anything goes to shits, we have some money <laughs> because you need to have that when you're building. You have no idea what's gonna happen. Why I'm telling you how much stuff is and costs, it's because I find it fascinating. It's not something, you know, personal to me. It's just kind of facts. I already put it out on my Instagram and my YouTube video. I, I really, I think it's fascinating to know what things cost on the different side of the world. And I'm literally on a remote island. And I think a lot of people would expect the cabins to be a lot cheaper. And it's a bit fascinating that the demand has kind of driven the price up to where we are. But we are very excited to live in the cabins, so we're okay with it. Regarding water, we are going to put in a system so we can have kind of running water. We're gonna put in our own pump and we're gonna pump it from this bigger water tank that we're gonna fill ourselves. So we're gonna have a cabin version of a shower. Of course, it's always gonna be better to go shower in the village, but we're gonna be able to shower at home if we don't wanna go to the village. Uh, so that's gonna be very nice. We have to put all the pipes to the kitchen and everything inside. We like, if we put them in the floor, since there's air underneath, because there's no foundation, it's literally on poles, like the, it, it could very easily freeze and that would ruin everything. So we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna put them inside on the walls. And now I'm thinking, okay, how can we hide them? And I'm just gonna think about something that makes it look okay, like build it into the wall in some way. Because it needs to be on the inside so it stays warm so it doesn't freeze. Because when it gets minus 30, everything freezes. Like in the village when it is minus 30, because they have running water like normal in the village. So when it's minus 30 and really cold or even minus 20, the pipes actually freeze quite often. So they were having a lot of trouble now in the village and you really want to avoid that because that is that costs a lot and it could you know ruin the entire house pretty much so we're just have to we're having to think about all of these things but i think we kind of have you know and we're gonna get just an amazing house so i'm gonna show you what we are building all right so here we have the full plans of what is happening so here we have the current cabin this is this one right here. So you can see it's not very big and we're building a very huge extension, which is literally the same size. No, it's bigger than what we have now. And down here, you can also see it easier. This is the deck that we had before and that we have now. And we're gonna change it to a smaller deck because it's gonna take too much square footage. And that's just apparently, well, it's just the price to pay for this. So right now our bedroom is this little thing and here's our kitchen. Uh, here is where we go in. This is our little hallway. 
And here we have our bathroom and also a storage room. So yeah, we don't have a lot of space and we're building this. So we're gonna change the entire hallway to this. So we're gonna go in here instead. And this is gonna be a closet the entire way on the wall. And this is the water room where we're gonna have technical stuff and the little pump and a water thing. And here is the bathroom. You have a shower and everything like normal. We're gonna, of course, not have it like this, but it's gonna be just so we have it all spaced out. Also two toilets because it's still gonna be pee and poo, guys. We're not gonna have any proper plumbing. It's gonna be burning your business and peeing in here. We made a bedroom here, which we think we're gonna use as our bedroom. We haven't really decided, but we kind of just want this room and have nothing in it, just a bed and make it super cozy. Uh, and I think we're gonna use it as our main bedroom. We haven't decided because when we're done with all of this, we're gonna look at what we're doing in here. We're gonna change this up, but we haven't really decided what we want yet. So we're gonna be smart and wait see what we want and then we knock some walls out and we make either a massive bedroom or you know a big office i don't know we'll figure that out but so our kitchen is going to have a counter the entire way there's going to be four windows right here and i i'll put in some pinterest in like what i want it to look like we're going to have black frames around the windows and it's going to be really really nice for me, a kitchen island is super important and I don't want a proper dining table and Christopher doesn't either. We're not people who just sit out, like sit down and dine at a big table. We will keep this though, so I think we'll keep this. So this is gonna be where we'll eat if we have people, but otherwise we will hang out with this kitchen, kitchen island with the view and we're gonna have high chairs. It's gonna be amazing. The fridge is gonna go on this side and it's gonna be built into a wall with cabinets. Also another freaking dream, just to have a lot of storage space. The countertop here is probably gonna be some sort of white, not marble, I don't like marble. It's expensive and very, just, you have to be so careful with it. But it's like quartz or something. It's gonna be white or beige or something really light. On this one, I think we're gonna have a walnut wood, I think. Christopher really wants it. I think it makes really nice kind of contrast to all the white that we're gonna have and it's gonna be farmhousey vibes. So that's gonna go there. This is gonna be open up the entire way. I have newer drawings, but I couldn't find them. So this is not gonna be here. It's gonna be open the entire way. It's gonna be a door out to the porch and steps and freaking beautiful. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is gonna stay pretty much the same. We're gonna change the couch. We're gonna take everything out. Those two chairs might stay there, I think so. This probably might stay, but everything else that's on the walls, we have a weapon cabinet thing here that's gonna go. It's all going. We're just gonna have a big couch and we have one ordered from Ikea. I'll put in which one we've ordered. It's gonna be beige, whitey, black. That's what we're going for and I'm so excited. We're not gonna do anything here. Like I said, we're gonna rip this piece of shit kitchen out and we're gonna burn it outside. <laughs> Sorry, but we hate it. It's just old, smells like mold and it's all watery and we're just hoping we don't have water damage. And then we'll decide what we're doing. Right now we're gonna make this all into storage so we can get all of our stuff out of the way. Oh God, I get so excited when thinking that this is three months away. But so this is what we have. It's gonna follow the exact same look of the building that we have now. And that's also like a prerequisite to be able to build is that everybody approves it and the government thinks that it looks like the cabin that's already there because they wanted to not disturb the nature and not be a crazy piece of house. I think. So we got it approved pretty quickly. But this is what we're building. Oh, I'm so exciting. Uh, we're a bit worried that this is going to be one of those places where snow gathers, but since it is open underneath, we're hoping that the wind is going to travel stuff through. Because otherwise it's going to be a nice area of snow. So yeah, that's what we got. And that's what they are currently putting up outside. How crazy. When we did the budget with the construction guys, I kind of said, okay, I'll do what I can do and to keep like some costs. So like all of the painting I will do just because I have the time, I don't mind it. And why not if it saves us a bit of money? Like I, it's, an, it's unnecessary for me to sit here and watch somebody else paint <laughs> when I'm literally here. So I said, I'll do the painting. I'll do the painting of the roof and the walls and the painting of the walls out there. We're gonna paint the outside of ourselves. 
yes we are and then also i said all of the construction materials we can take that down <laughs> so what they do is i filmed a lot of this so they bring everything out here on trucks from the village but since we're 60 meters away from the road we need to get it down to the cabin somehow but how do you get it down there's no machines to run it down so what they would have done is just put it there and then have a bunch of guys carry it these 60 meters to put it on this uh, kind of metal thing and I'm like that's expensive and he's like you can do this on your own if you want to save some money I'm like yes and I just see Christopher going why why do you do this I'm like yes we will do this so they came this week and they came with the first load of stuff and it was two trucks and I'm like oh my god but we have we had thought about it before and said okay let's bring out a snowmobile here and let's have our sleds so we can put it on the sleds and we can drive it down instead of having to carry it down and this worked out so well so what they did they took the truck and then the arm of the truck what's it called and they lift all the things up and they dropped it on the snowmobile so it was so good christopher was so happy because he did not like the notion of having to carry everything and of course it would have taken us i'd say about a hundred times more time if you know what I mean, because it took us one hour to get a truck full down because they just put it on the snowmobile. We drove it down. We unloaded it like four people and then we drove the snowmobiles up again and things like that. And that's why we also need snow when we do stuff like this, because otherwise you have to do everything by foot and you will ruin the tundra and that's not allowed. Thank you so much for watching this first part of the cabin build and I hope you enjoyed it and I will answer more questions as we go along and I will also keep updating and filming how the building's going and where we are in the process so stay tuned and also just if you like this video maybe like it and also subscribe if you haven't already I will now put in some footage of when we were putting all the stuff down and a bit outside with what it's looking like and everything so do check that out and see you in the next video thank you so much for watching it means tons so see you soon yeah so this is what we are working with all right so what we are doing now is we're taking all of the stuff from over here putting it on our snowmobile sled and then driving it down here and unloading it it's like the entire build is coming down with these trucks <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of carrying guys okay so let's get to it this is perfect timing Einar literally just came by because he came from the village I was like hi how are you doing I'm like uh, you want to help out he's like sure so now we have two sleds which is exactly what we needed just to bring stuff down quicker and to unload the trucks faster so i think this is gonna go fast it's going so well it's very good when you have snowmobiles sleds and snow <laughs> so now we've put together two sleds to be able to take these down Which probably will work fine. We'll see. <laughs> it's not very far. <laughs> but they are heavy. Okay, so we are already done with one of the trucks, that one left, and we are doing the other one now. And that is all done there. I'm mostly just helping out down here with the moving uh, things onto that because the guys are driving the snowmobiles and everything. So I'm just kind of like, I also want to be part of it. But I'm here documenting and carrying. That's my job today. But it's going so well, so quickly. I think even they are a bit surprised at how quickly this is going. Like two snowmobiles and about a couple of people. And in less than one hour, we've done one of the trucks. Very happy.
this is making things very easy for us so they can actually start building. So now I'm gonna have to unload what Christopher's coming down with on the snowmobile. Let's see other truck leaving. All right, but we got so much stuff down. And then on Friday, the other truck comes and we put the other stuff down here. So we're making good progress.